Hello! Hi, Waldy. Hi! Welcome to another discography review update. This is our Five Finger Death Punch uh, discography review update. He's in this one. And Brad's in this one. He wasn't in the original review, but it's whatever. The original review is on the screen now. I'm just gonna... Somewhere. It's, on, it's up there again. Um, but, um... Click the Retro Lancer. <laughs> the Retro. Click the Retro Lancer to, to go to the review. Um, but we're gonna review the new Five Finger Death Punch album that came out last year, uh, American Capitalist. And, um... Really... Disappointing. I, I was underwhelmed with this album. I mean, this could be due to multiple things. My disinterest with the band, and I don't listen to them much anymore in general. But this album was just weird. Indeed. It was played with, like, it was, it was mixed badly. Yeah, and, like, it just, there's, it didn't, it didn't flow well. Like, there's, like, this, there's a point in the album where there's, like, this heavy, aggressive song that fades into, like, this acoustic song. And it's, like, back to more aggressive. It's, like, throwing random stuff in there. And, like, one of the tracks, it's a single, like, he's rapping, but he's just rapping name brands, and it doesn't flow well, and it's just weird. Yeah, uh, they said what that song was about. It's called The Pride. Yeah. And it's not, like, The Pride of America. It's called, like, it's about Lion Pride. Join the Lion Pride. And I was like, that's fucking stupid! I know. That's what I said. And, like, there's weird parts where his harmonies don't match. Like, there's a song, the one that you kept making the- <laughs> Oh, fuck it! <laughs> there's a song that starts like that. It's so random. And, like, there's one song, <laughs> the song that you kept making the face at. What? When he was singing, mm -hmm. the chorus. I remember. Like, it's like, uh, where he's like, Duh! And you're like, uh, Yeah, what, what song is that? Generation Dead. Generation that was Dead. The, that was the Hot Top exclusive, um, uh, review. It's, it was like, it was... But I was like, it actually, I was like, I was excited when I first heard it, because it was like a bass line, it was like... Yeah. And then... And then... It's, and I was like, what? It's, Why are you doing such weird shit vocally? The, it's very odd vocally. There's this part where he's singing into a talk box, which just sounds weird. Oh. <laughs> it's it's a weird ass album. There's some moments where the aggression fits really well. I mean, tracks nine through ten are probably or nine through eleven are my favorite. The, the, the bottom half of it's a better the better part. The drum work on the album is probably the best part of it. Jeremy Spencer. I mean, there's a lot of good driving uh, drum lines. There's some good um, back beats that he provides, and it's that's really the one compliment I can give. The rest of it's just kind of bleh. And for them, that's even, saying even, something. Even the solos. Yeah, the it's, solos were bleh. Like instrumentation is kind of. Cut paste ish and vocally he just sounds weird and his lyrical content's bizarre. Not as good anymore. It's no and it's meh. It's blam meh. Uh, I would not recommend this album at all, really. I di I didn't even a, buy it. I listened to his copy. And my Sam bought it for me. Yeah, I mean it's not worth your time at all. It's a very it's a big disappointment, especially after their big. The debut, Way of the Fist, was a great fucking album. Yeah. And then Wars, The Answer, was even better as a follow-up. I mean, if you saw the original and you hear our praises we give them, you'd be kind of surprised, because we liked the first two albums. We do not like this album. Overall, it's just, it's... I like a little bit of it. I don't like any of it. There was one part, there was a chorus, that I was like, like, I like this. Yeah. Track 10, yeah. yeah, the chorus of that was good. That wasn't even the chorus, that was a bridge. Yeah, his, his, his the way he sang the, the harmony, was yeah. awesome. That whole part of that song, amazing. The rest of it... If I fought that one. Yeah. So, don't pick it up. Don't get the album. Watch the original review if you want. Do that kind of thing. You guys can decide the situations. And we're finally done with these. We'll see you another day. Lame of God. Later.